What's the point in starting strong if you're just going to finish with a squeak? Over the years, I've noticed loads of students putting in hours crafting their amazing introduction only to end their personal statement with a bland sentence. In this video, I'll teach you my most effective strategies that will take your conclusion from this to this. And we'll use examples from successful Oxbridge personal statements ranging from medicine, maths, economics, languages and geography. These examples and strategies will inspire you to write your very own masterful conclusion. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and I'm a junior doctor and neuroscience supervisor at Oxford University and today we're going to talk about how to write the best conclusion for your personal statement. First, let's take a look at why it's important to have a great finish. In psychology, there are two temporal memory effects, the primacy effect and the recency effect. The primacy effect is the observation that information earlier on in the narrative is remembered better than the middle segment. The recency effect, on the other hand, is the observation that information read later on in the narrative, i.e. more recently, is remembered better than the middle segment. So if you want to leave the best impression that the admissions tutor just can't shake off, it's important to spend most of your time at the beginning and end of your personal statement. Up here is my take on how best to start your personal statement. However, in this video, I'll be using examples from successful Oxbridge students to help you write the best conclusion to your personal statement. There are three core strategies that I use when I'm writing a conclusion to a personal statement. Each serves a unique but complementary purpose that together leaves a strong lasting impression. The first strategy is to sum up your key qualities. After speaking a lot about your strengths, skills and experiences in the main body, it's really wise to sum it up into three to five key qualities right at the end. This will help to refresh and remind the reader that you're the ideal candidate to study this subject. The second strategy is to show ambition and drive. You need to sell it to the reader that you really want this opportunity. It's important to balance the first part of the conclusion where you've bigged yourself up with this part. Show some humility and express how much you want the opportunity to learn more about this subject and increase your knowledge. Admissions tutors don't just want to give it to the best suited candidate, they also want to give it to someone who will make the most out of this valuable opportunity. The third and last strategy is to show unwavering passion for the subject. This should underpin all aspects of your personal statement. This and your unique writing style will help you stand out from the thousands of other applicants. Again, using lots of passionate and emotive words will help to sell the fact that you really, really want this opportunity. The challenge here is to marry all three of these elements into a solid conclusion in as little words as possible. Let's now take a look at some examples to provide us with some inspiration. Here's an example from an Oxbridge Medicine personal statement. My experiences have made me compassionate, empathetic and also incited an ever-growing desire to care for others. I would relish the opportunity to read medicine and rise to every challenge. Sentence 1 sums up their key qualities and sentence 2 hits it home with passionate projection and shows how much studying medicine will mean to them. Throughout emotive words like compassionate, relish and passionate concepts like ever-growing desire are used. Now let's take a look at an example from a natural sciences personal statement. The variety and endless possibilities that chemistry provides feed both my curiosity and creativity. It is for this reason that I wish to pursue further my studies in such a dynamic subject. This is a great example of the strategies that we've just met. The first sentence highlights their key qualities and ties it in with the subject they're passionate about. And they've used lots of passionate words throughout to convey their drive to study this subject. And see how much you can do in just two short sentences. It's all down to planning and careful choice of words. Now here's an example from a Geography Oxbridge personal statement. A large part of geography's appeal is that to some degree it intersects with so many other areas of study, from politics to physics to economics. Many of the challenges facing us can be viewed in a geographical context. 
The possibility of studying, explaining and managing these challenges is what inspires me to want to pursue my studies in geography as far as possible. This conclusion focuses mainly on showing the reader that they're committed to studying geography as a subject and it does this by highlighting all its interesting aspects. This strategy is great at showing insight and determination, but ultimately a personal statement has got to be personal and include mostly things about you. So to improve this further, they could have included a sentence to sum up their key qualities. Here's an example. My resourcefulness, metropolitan interest and analytical ability has drawn me to read geography at a higher level. Now here's an example from an economics Oxbridge personal statement. I not only look forward to applying the quantitative methods I have learnt in further mathematics to economics, but also the independence and experience that university life will offer. This conclusion does a great job of showing the reader how they'll use the opportunity to study economics at university. It highlights what key qualities they hope to gain from university life and how they'll use their current skills to develop new ones. However, it's clear that this conclusion was a little rushed. Had they had more space, a sentence to sum up their key qualities would have really completed this conclusion. For example, my tenacity, determination, and ability to acquire new information rapidly will guide me as I learn more complex aspects of economics. Here's an example from a maths personal statement. I would cherish the chance to meet like-minded people who share my love of maths and want to contribute to the mathematical society. I want to make new friends and drive myself forward in my pursuit to become the mathematician I want to be. I'm well aware that even working at this level with intensity has barely scratched the surface. Having had a taste of what is to come has got me hooked and I do not want to stop. This conclusion does a great job at showing ambition and projection. It's very clear at conveying what they want to achieve by studying maths at university. It also uses several emotive adjectives to convey their passion, and it ends in a unique way to show off their own writing style. However, this conclusion can be improved by including a sentence that sums up all their key qualities that would make them ideal to study mathematics at university. Now here's an example from a languages Oxbridge personal statement. Studying modern languages at university would be the next step in the most incredible journey that I have undertaken and further developing my linguistic and cultural knowledge of Italy and the Hispanic world is something that I'm greatly looking forward to at degree level. This is a great example of showing humility and ambition. It gets across to the reader how important studying languages at university will be to their future and it also emphasizes their drive to study and learn more about modern languages. This conclusion uses lots of emotive and passionate words to make it stand out. Using superlatives like most incredible and passionate adverbs like greatly looking forward really shows the reader that they want this opportunity. It kind of guilts the reader into wanting to give this opportunity to them because it's very clear that they want it so badly. One thing that could have made this conclusion even better is a sentence summing up their key qualities. There's nothing really explicitly said about their strengths which would have enriched this conclusion. But this conclusion does do a good job at showing the reader he's already taken steps to learn more about the subject he wants to study so shows that he has the ability to take the initiative and be independent. For more examples of Foxbridge personal statements, including law and medicine, you might like to check out this playlist. And if you'd like a comprehensive guide that will help write your personal statement from start to finish, then you might like to check out my free full personal statement masterclass using the link below. But that's it from me for today. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.